Welcome to the land down under, where bizarre creatures roam free and strange beasts rule the land. From the demon shark that will give you nightmares for days to a toad on steroids, these are the 20 strangest things recently discovered in Australia. Number 20. Demon Shark Kicking off the video on a spooky note, we present this abominable new species of demon shark, recently discovered in the deep waters of Australia. The journey to this discovery began several years ago, when researchers were going through uncatalogued materials in the Australian National Fish Collection in Hobart. It was there that they found a mysterious egg, which didn't fit into any of the known species. Without wasting time, a mission was launched to find the facts behind the egg, and after extensive research, it was revealed to be a new species of demon cat shark. This new strange creature was then identified as Pristurus ovicorrigatus in 2023. But what's so special about this new shark species anyway? Well, that's because these sharks look like something straight out of a nightmare with their elongated cat-like eyes. However, even though demon cat sharks are generally spooky creatures, this new species gets even spookier. Their bright white irises stare deep into the endless expanse of the waters, striking fear in every one of their deep-sea neighbors. Why would a shark have such clear white eyes, though? Scientists haven't been able to figure that out yet. Although very few encounters with this new species have been reported, researchers are working around the clock to uncover more details about its evolution, physiology, and many other aspects of its existence. But if you thought this was weird, you should stick around till the end of the video to find out how this Australian scientist found a tooth so big that it's hard to believe this monster actually existed. Number 19. Ancient Stone Tools Throughout history, Australia has unveiled several archaeological discoveries, sites and artifacts that are reminiscent of a time when the Earth and its inhabitants weren't this advanced. One of such discovery was made off the north coast of Western Australia, 2023, where archaeologists recovered five sharpened stone tools. In an area with milky visibility and deadly currents, divers risked life and limb to scour the edge of a pit on the ocean floor near Karatha. The search was quite difficult, as the stone had become encrusted with algae, which had concealed the slicing edge of these tools. But the divers were relentless in their efforts, and against all odds, the stone tools were recovered. According to carbon dating, these ancient artifacts were crafted some 9,000 years ago, and they were most likely used to cut and skin small animals. These ancient tools are believed to be the oldest marine archaeological find in the history of Australia. But why were they lost 50 feet below the water's surface? You see, Thousands of years ago, the area where these tools were found was above sea level, and scientists believe it was the site of a freshwater spring. According to experts, ancient inhabitants of Australia must have discarded these tools in the spring, where they have stayed for over 9,000 years, until now. Number 18. 40 million year old flies. Deep within a coal mining site in Victoria, Australia, Archaeologists have uncovered one of the most remarkable ancient relics in history. The perfectly preserved remains of two flies, frozen for over 40 million years. This astounding discovery was made by a research team from Monash University School of Earth, Atmosphere and Environment in Melbourne, and quickly made headlines both locally and internationally. To dig deep into the genesis of this discovery, we travel back to a time when Australia was part of the supercontinent Gondwana. On this fateful day some 40 to 50 million years ago, two long-legged flies now identified as Dolichopididae were in the process of mating, when they found themselves in a sticky situation. In this moment of intimacy, the two insects had gotten themselves trapped in the sap of a tree, and they knew there was no escape. Soon, the sap turned into amber and the moments of copulation became a spectacle that would astound scientists millions of years later. Amber, as a material, is considered the holy grail in the field of anthropology and archaeology. This is because it possesses the amazing ability to preserve ancient organisms in such a timeless manner that it looks as though they just died yesterday. Although a couple of amber samples have been collected in Australia, containing remains of parasites in action, and other insects in the process of feeding, 
Finding two mating flies was truly remarkable. In total, the researchers found over 5,800 amber pieces, each offering us a glimpse into the ecosystem of the lost world. Number 17. The Lost Ancestor For many years, scientists have tried to trace the root of human origin, and in 2023, they encountered a major breakthrough that could change the history of our evolution forever. While conducting an extensive study of some rocks in northern Australia, archaeologists Jochen Brox and Benjamin Nettersheim uncovered what they described as a lost world of ancient organisms embedded in a billion-year-old rock. Could these minute microbes be the missing link in our evolution tree? The scientists would like to think so. These mysterious microbes, known as protosterol biota, were part of a family of organisms known as eukaryotes, which lived in Earth's waterways some 1.6 billion years ago. Previously, scientists had pegged the root of our existence to a creature known as Lika, or the last eukaryotic common ancestor. But this new discovery changed everything. According to Jochen Brox, one of the scientists who made this groundbreaking discovery, the protosterol biotol lived before Lika, and was more complex and larger than bacteria. However, we haven't quite figured out what the creatures really looked like. Scientists also believe that these remarkable creatures were the first predators on Earth, hunting and devouring bacteria to survive. From about 1.6 million years ago, these creatures thrived, and their reaches spread far and wide, but 800 million years ago, they suddenly vanished. Until today, nobody knows why. Number 16. Toadzilla. Australia is home to monsters and oddities, and this next one might just be the perfect example of the weird and wonderful wildlife that inhabits the landscape. Meet the Toadzilla, a gigantic cane toad found by rangers in Conway National Park, Queensland. According to the scientists who found the toad, it weighed about six pounds, which is possibly a new world record recognized by Guinness. To put that into perspective, that's about the size of a newborn baby, which is pretty massive for a toad. But what are cane toads, and why do they get so big? This special breed of amphibians is a non-native species, which were introduced to Australia in 1935 from South and Central America in a bid to control pest beetles, which was decimating the sugarcane industry. Gigantic cane toads like Toadzilla are capable of eating absolutely anything that fits into their mouth, including insects, reptiles, and small mammals, so they were pretty effective in pest control back in the day. When it comes to defending themselves against predators though, cane toads release deadly poisons, which could either paralyze or kill any animal that tries to make a meal of them. Cane toads also have a pretty long life, and some of them can even live for up to 15 years. Number 15. Mysterious Giant Cylinder On July 16, 2023, the people of Greenhead Town in the Midwest coast of Australia woke up to a mysterious guest washed up on the beach. The unidentified object was described as a two-meter-long cylindrical piece, covered in barnacles. As soon as the photo of this mysterious object made its way online, the whole internet was sent into a massive frenzy. Theories began flying around about the nature of the object, its origin, and why it suddenly washed up on the beach. Some claim the object was a fragment of the missing Malaysian MH370 flight, while others point to more extraterrestrial origins. While this was going on, authorities announced that while they were still trying to uncover more details about the mysterious object, it should be treated as potentially hazardous. So, even though curiosity may want to get the best of some people, the police advised that it was best to stay away in order to avoid any unforeseen hazards. So, where exactly did it come from, though? Till date, the only plausible explanation that has been offered is that the object was part of a foreign space launch vehicle. Apparently, the object must have been lost in the ocean after the space vehicle was destroyed, before finally washing up on the Australian beach. However, it should be noted that more investigation is being conducted to determine the real origin, and no concrete conclusion has been reached yet. Number 14. World's Largest Rock for many years, scientists believed that Mount Uluru, located in central Australia, was the largest rock in the world. But in reality, that crown belongs to another rock, which, coincidentally, is also located in Australia. This is Mount Augustus, a giant red rock in the middle of the Australian outback. 
and is officially recognized as the world's largest monolith. Talking about size, this piece is massive. It covers roughly 11,860 acres of land, while stretching for over 2,350 feet into the sky. The central ridge runs for five miles long, making it two and a half the size of Uluru. The rock can be found 621 miles north of Perth, where it sits between the boundaries of Mount Augustus National Park. Beyond the size, the age of this rock is also mind-boggling. Scientists believe that Mount Augustus was formed around 1.65 billion years ago, which means it has survived countless dramatic ecological changes through the evolution of the Earth. While outsiders refer to the rock by its popular name, the indigenous people maintain their preferred moniker Buringura, which is a reference to a young boy whose story is intertwined with the rock, according to local legends. The rock remains a sacred site for the tribes that live around it, and it holds a significant place in their culture and history. Number 13. World's Largest Sand Island Welcome to Fraser Island, the world's largest sand island, where the sand is purer than the Sahara Desert. Located off the coast of Harvey Bay, Fraser Island, also known as Kagari Island, occupies approximately 166,000 hectares of land. Measuring 123 kilometers long and 20 kilometers wide, Fraser Island beats out North Stradbroke Island and Morton to claim the throne of the world's largest sand island. Everything on this island grows out of sand, even though sand isn't an ideal environment for plants to flourish. However, the sand on Fraser Island contains a secret ingredient known as mycorrhizal fungi, which provides essential nutrients needed for plant growth. The island is also home to a wide range of wildlife, from dingoes to echidnas to lace monitors and even flying foxes. But that's not all. Fraser Island is also home to countless perched lakes. This includes the infamous Lake Benjamin, which is regarded as the largest perched lake in the world, covering 190 hectares of land. While there are many alluring sights on the island, the most popular tourist attraction would be the wreckage of the SS Mahino. This ship was hit by a cyclone in 1935, and its skeletal shadows continue to haunt the landscape even after several decades. Number 12. Cooper Petty of all the bizarre things that exist in Australia, this one might be the most interesting. Welcome to Cooper Pedy, the town that lives underground. Located in the outback of southern Australia, Cooper Petty started as a mining town back in 1915, when it was first established. But as the searing heat of the region became increasingly intense, the people of the two sought refuge in what they referred to as dugouts. In the summer, temperatures here can reach up to 120 degrees, so these dugouts provided a solace from the scorching sun. Before long, the little underground settlement had transformed into a full-blown underground town, with several amenities like a hotel and a church. While Aboriginal people have resided in the region for many years, it wasn't until after the First World War that miners struck a treasure that soon transformed the region into a thriving town. Known as the opal capital of the world, Cooper Petty became instantly famous when a huge deposit of the precious stone was discovered. But that was a long time ago. Today, Cooper Petty has become a tourist attraction, with an appeal that cannot be compared with any other location in the world. A venture into the cavernous depths of the town is like an adventure into the unknown, more like Alice tumbling through the rabbit hole. While there are around 2,500 residents currently living in the underground town, many visitors claim that it still maintains an eerie, otherworldly feel to it. But for the residents, it's just home. Number 11. The World's Largest Plant At first glance, this might look like an underwater field, but in reality, what you're looking at is a single plant, which is regarded as the world's largest plant. Located off the coast of Australia, this spectacular site stretches for 70 square miles, presenting the illusion of a lush green landscape. For a long time, scientists believed that this was in fact a field of plants, but in June 2022, they made a shocking discovery. Turns out this whole expanse was just a single seagrass meadow, which has successfully cloned itself over the course of 4,500 years. 
By sampling and comparing the DNA of the seagrass shoots across the riverbed, scientists were able to confirm this hypothesis, and it was like the single most amazing discovery made in Australia in 2022. Unfortunately, this precious plant is dying. While it may look formidable on the outside, the seagrass meadow is quite vulnerable to rising ocean temperatures. Thanks to climate change, a tenth of the ancient seagrass had been lost in just over a decade, and it seems the cycle will probably never end. Will this incredible plant survive the deadly hands of climate change? We'll have to wait and see. Number 10. Ancient Eagle Fossils The wildlife of Australia is filled with some of the strangest creatures you've probably ever seen, and it's been that way for quite some time now. Over 60,000 years ago, a massive eagle with a wingspan measuring about 10 feet ruled the land with its iron talons, striking fear in even the most fearsome predators of the day. Now known as Gaff's Powerful Eagle, or Dinatoetus gaffi, this magnificent beast was described from a fossil collection gathered between 1956 and 2021. The fossils were first unearthed in the Mayer's Cave of Southern Australia back in 1956, and in 1969, more fossils were discovered in the Naracourt Caves. However, throughout the years, researchers couldn't gather enough remains to reconstruct the skeleton, so the eagle remained unidentified. That was until 2021, when a team of researchers and volunteers from the Flinders University found extra 26 bones scattered in the caves. With these new findings, paleontologist Ellen Mather and her team were able to complete the work that started in 1956, and the skeleton was finally complete. Although this giant eagle species has been extinct for a while now, we can only imagine how terrifying they must have been, soaring through the skies and casting a grim shadow on the wildlife below. Number 9. Oldest Meteor Crash Site Almost every monumental event in the history of our planet has been linked to a meteor crash. From the creation of the Earth itself to the genesis of our moon, Earth has been barraged by these space rocks more than a couple of times. Strangely though, evidence of these impacts are very rare to find, owing to millions of years of erosion and tectonic activity. This is why this next find is quite spectacular. This is Yarabuba, known to be the oldest meteor crash site in the world. According to scientists, this crater was formed about 2.2 million years ago. Today, all that's visible of the once enormous crater is a small red hill situated at the center. The hill is known as Barlangi Hill, and scientists believe it holds the very secret of Earth's early history. Embedded within Barlangi Hill are mineral grains, which were smashed, melted, and eventually recrystallized by the ancient impact. According to researchers, the impact of the meteor strike ended a widespread ice age, which plagued the planet back in the day. Scientists believe that the meteor released more than 100 billion tons of water vapor into the sky on impact, effectively warming the planet. Today, the crater stands as a time capsule, transporting us to a time when Earth was nothing but a vast wasteland. Number 8. Red Crabs up next, we travel to Christmas Island, where more than 120 million red crabs call home. Because the island is dominated by strands of rainforest, it experiences a tropical climate, which means there is a dry season and a rainy season. This condition makes the environment suitable for the growth and proliferation of these red crabs. Not surprisingly, the Christmas Island red crab, also known as Gicarcoidea natalis, is endemic to the island which means it can only be found there and nowhere else. For the better part of the year, these crabs live in dirty burrows or deep rock crevices. However, as soon as the wet seasons are about to return in October or November, these crabs emerge from the depths and embark on one of the most spectacular migrations observed in any animal species. Over the course of two weeks, these crabs travel in large numbers from the island to the Indian Ocean. The purpose of these epic trips is so the crabs can migrate to the coast to lay eggs so the species can keep thriving as they have been doing for generations. To safeguard these travelers, officials set up barricades on the island prior to the start of the migration season. This way, no harm comes to the crabs and the natural order remains undisturbed. Number 7. Pink Lakes 
At first glance, this lake may look like a giant pool of bubblegum, but believe it or not, this pink lake is a 100% natural phenomenon, and there's more than one of them. The land down under is home to many of these bizarre lakes, which deviate from the usual blue color, taking on a more pink appearance. First, there's Lake Hillier, located on the remote Middle Island, just off the coast of Western Australia. Then traveling farther east to the Murray Sunset National Park, you will discover not one, not two, but four different pink lakes scattered across the region. However, unlike Lake Hillier, these ones don't maintain the pink shade throughout the year. Instead, they often transform into a delicate salmon hue before taking on the pink color again in the summer. So why are the lakes so pink? To find the answers, we dive deep into the strange ecosystem that thrives within the waters and uncover the microbes responsible for this strange phenomenon. First, there's the Dunaliella salina, a type of algae that thrives in high salt concentrations and produces beta carotene, which gives the water a reddish pink hue. Then there's the halobacteria, which also thrives in intensely salty environments and emits a red pigment. Together, these two microorganisms transform the ordinary lake into an extraordinary visual treat, creating a spectacular view that continues to attract tourists from everywhere around the world. Number six, giant wombat. Back in December, 2022, paleontologists uncovered the remains of an extinct species of wombat, which are unlike anything you've ever seen before. The species, which has been identified as Diprotodon, are said to have been the largest marsupials around during their heyday. This six foot, 600 pound wombat ancestor roamed the grasslands of Australia during the Pleistocene epoch, which was between 1.6 million to 46,000 years ago. According to researchers, the Diprotodon was about 200 times larger than its closest living cousins, which are the koalas and of course, wombats. Imagine a marsupial as large as a full-size hippo. Sounds like something straight out of a nightmare. According to the Australian Museum, this four-legged beast had a short trunk, a tail, and thick, stump-like limbs. Fossils belonging to the Diprotodon have been recovered at several sites throughout Australia, with the oldest discovery dating back to the 1830s. The most complete skeleton of this ancient beast was found at Tambar Springs, and is currently on display at the Australian Museum. Before we go on with the rest of the video, here's our subscribers pick for today. Recently, an Australian scientist found a tooth so big that it's hard to believe this monster actually existed. While exploring the Cocos Islands Marine Park in the remote Indian Ocean and the Gascoigne Marine Park, researchers were able to recover this tooth, which they believe belongs to the infamous Megalodon. Some three to five million years ago, this mega shark ruled the ocean with an iron fist, and no predator could look into its eyes. From its intimidating size to those deadly teeth capable of tearing through any prey's skin, the Megalodon is considered one of the most fearsome creatures to ever inhabit the oceans. Which of these discoveries freaked you out the most? Let us know in the comments. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 5. Thylacine Meet the Tasmanian tiger, also known as thylacine, a strange-looking animal which resembles the mix of a dog and a tiger. Although the last of this species died off many years ago, the remains have only been recently discovered. The story takes us back to September 7, 1936, when the last living female thylacine passed away at Hobart Zoo in Australia. After the unfortunate loss, the remains were said to have been transported to the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery. However, the remains were never found complete as the skin and skeleton were declared missing. For 86 years, museum curators and other scientists worked hard to recover these remains, but all efforts resulted in futility. That was until 2022, when researcher Robert Paddle and zoologist Catherine Medlock decided to investigate the secrets behind the mysterious disappearance. Following the trail, the duo discovered that the remains were actually housed in a cupboard within the museum, although it was never recorded within the database. While the rationale behind keeping the remains hidden is unclear, the remains of the Tasmanian tiger has finally seen the light of day and will most likely play a huge part in the planned de-extinction process of the special as a whole. Number 4. 
deep sea creatures. During an expedition into the deepest depths of an Australian seafloor, scientists have identified several new species of terrifying creatures that look like they had risen from the very depths of hell. This bizarre discovery was made by a team of scientists working with the museum's Victoria Research Institute. During the exploration, the researchers were able to map out the region across nearly 7,000 miles. This revealed flat-topped sea mountains dotted by volcanic cones, sharp ridges, and canyons. Lurking within these dark corners were strange creatures, like the deep-sea batfish, the blind eel with its transparent skin, the high-fin lizardfish, and many, many others. Since these creatures have only been recently discovered, there's very little information available concerning their physiology, reproduction process, and many other aspects of their existence. However, scientists are working round the clock to conduct deeper studies on these new species. Number 3. World's Longest Deep Sea Animal Still exploring the deep seas of Australia, scientists have also uncovered another rare creature lurking within the shadowy waters of the Ningaloo Canyons. While traversing the damning darkness with a Sebastian underwater robot, a team of researchers stumbled upon what has been described as the longest organism ever recorded. This is the giant siphonophore, which measures over 393 feet long. Scientists believe that the organism, which looks like a long gelatinous string, is related to jellyfish and corals. To create a beast this massive, Thousands of small, specialized cells known as zoids work together to form a concrete colony, which can stretch for up to 120 meters. But that's not the only fascinating creature the researchers were able to locate at the depths. They also found a bioluminescent octopus squid, a long-tailed sea cucumber, as well as several species of mollusks, barnacles, and squat lobsters. Number 2. Giant Trapdoor Spider In a land where creepy crawlies thrive in abundance, it shouldn't come as a surprise when scientists discover a massive spider. Meet the Eupolos dignitas, a rare giant species of trapdoor spiders which are only found in central Queensland. According to researchers, the giant trapdoor spider lives in open woodland habitats, where it builds burrows with silken hinged doors. With this specialized hunting trap, the spider is able to capture unsuspecting insects by opening its trapdoor. As massive as they are, though, these giant trapdoor spiders aren't harmful to humans, although bites may result in pain and swelling. Number 1. Giant Earthworm Although the land down under is home to over 1,000 species of earthworm, the largest and most famous of them all would be the giant Gipplesland earthworm. Also known as Megascolides australis, these giant earthworms can grow up to 9.8 feet long and measure 0.79 inches in diameter. However, they possess the ability to expand and contract their bodies, making them appear even larger than they already are. Speaking of weight, an average giant earthworm is expected to weigh about 0.44 pounds, which is still impressive for an earthworm. Unfortunately, these fascinating creatures have found themselves on the brink of extinction due to their low reproductive rates and slow maturation. Even though scientists have been trying to breed them in captivity, this has also proved abortive. Regardless of the roadblocks, scientists continue to work day in, day out to preserve this fascinating species from falling into the precarious arms of extinction. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.